Hey yo, once again, this is Japs, uh, and we're here today to check out the BBC Symphony Orchestra free version. Uh, I recently got mine. Uh, I was excited when I got the email saying it's ready to download. I waited 14 days for this, so this is it. Let's check it out. Uh, I'm here now. Going to my selecting my instruments. So it's in Spitfire Audio. Okay, let's just try out first the stereo output. Let's not go too crazy at once. Okay, let's create. Mm -hmm. And goes like that. Oh. Let's open it up. So this is it. Mm -hmm. It's a really nice layout over here. Uh, it's similar to the labs, but what's cool is you don't have to go through the same app with the labs instrument. It has its own category. So. That's how it sounds. It says here it's just the violin ones. The violins one, but uh, we know it's the violin one of the orchestra. If you know about how the orchestra works, uh, how it's arranged, uh, it's arranged into parts like violin one, violin two, viola, and the cello. So we have violin one, violin two, viola, and cello. Celli is the plural of cello. And basses. Okay, so the basses are the back of the cello. This is the conductor. And let's see what the other parts of this, this orchestra. Horns, the French horn to be exact. Uh, harp and Celeste if they have a harp well this is BBC Symphony so obviously they have all of those the percussion tuned percussion yeah marimba xylophone basically uh, those things that you hit with mallets and has a tune uh, what's this bassoons Clarinets, so we have woodwinds, oboes, flutes, piccolos. Oh, then here's the brasses, trumpets, tenor trombones, bass trombones, tuba, the tuba. Okay, wow, everybody's in here. Mm -hmm. So, let's check out first our. Latency. So our buffer size is 1024. Let's try about 64 if we can take it. Yep. We can take it. Yeah. The lesser the better when we're trying to track stuff. Okay, but there comes a point where your computer can't take it anymore. So let's dial it back a bit. Sixty-four is fine. Mhm. Mm there we go. Uh, currently. We're in the violin one section. Uh, if you can see here, this part, there's the range of the violin one. As you can see, you can't go down past G. 
which is the lowest note on the violin one because uh, if you know the violin the lowest note you can do is a G that's the thickest string of the violin yep so you can go to F so you can and I like the idea that when they laid it out uh, and you're orchestrating the parts you can you can do only one section at a time you can do uh, you can't do it all at once but let's see maybe they have that uh, option for the app to just determine what what instrument you intend to use for that particular part there's so we're currently in the long setting or for long passages like that And how it's sounding so far. This is the free version. Uh, there's the paid version where you, where you can upgrade, and I I think you can get lots more dynamics, and there are a lot more layers to to each note. Like if you go soft and you go loud. Cool thing with labs is you can use the modulation wheel to do some dynamics with the strings. Like that. Some swells. It's really fun to do if you're uh, doing uh, scoring some orchestra stuff. Let's try the other settings here. Spiccato. So for those who knows um, string lingo, spiccato is like, it's basically when you stroke the string and then you stop midway like this. You know, that's spiccato. And some of it, uh, or, or you just bounce it like on the string. You bounce it, bounce the bow on the string. No, something like that. But don't take my word for it. I mean, there may be a a better explanation of that. But that's just uh, how I perceived it when I was doing uh, orchestra. You know. So let's. Try pizzicato next. Pizzicato now is the plucking of the violin strings. That's how it sounds. Really nice sounding pizzicatos. Now the tremolo. Tremolo is when you go up and down the string and it sounds like this. Yeah. Uh, like a drum roll but for the string section. Like in a movie, like there's an intense scene where you're waiting or something, you just just do like or like like something like that. Now let's try another section. I think you can select you can select it from here I guess yeah you can do that but you can also do and click like this and there's the violin too now the difference between the violin one and the violin two 
is a sound, violin too. Here you can see the descriptions of what each part does violin ones and the violins two in an orchestra you basically put the higher parts for the violin ones or the melody violin two does the harmony or the support or the basically the lower notes kind of kind of the alto for the soprano of a choir now it has the same stuff mm -hmm. then the viola now the viola what you'll notice right away is it has a lower register than the violins. Viola is uh, the bigger looking violin. It looks exactly like a violin, but it's just bigger. So the violin has a higher range than the viola. The viola goes from C to F. So it is the C. The low C. The first C below the middle C. Yep. Sounds darker because it's bigger. And more round, bigger. Spicato. how it sounds. Now pizzicato. Okay, tremolo. Okay, the cello. Now the cello obviously has a lower range. I think cello has the biggest range, but let's see, this one is C, one, two, three, almost four octaves, now the viola has one, two, three, three and a half octaves, the violins have one, two, three and a half basically the viola and the violins have the same range but the cello has one two three almost four so barely Let's do the basses. Okay. Okay. Wow, their basses can go to this. Low. 
low C. I used to do bass in an orchestra, but my bass only goes up to this E. Just a solo. This one has a, uh, a lower C. Wow, that's massive. And goes to that F. Wow, I love that C sound. Now, their bass doesn't have a tremolo. I wonder why maybe they don't do that in an actual orchestra. Because the cellos have a tremolo, but it's uh, relatively slower than the violins and the violas. This one altogether doesn't have a tremolo. So, let's try the... Uh Spiccato. I love that C sound. It's like massive. And it's really realistic. Now the pizzicato. like this where the the upright bass started that's the bass line for my song imagination is in the channel check it out whoa let's check out the horns Horns have a big range. Staccatissimo. It's a big range. It's a low A. Mm -hmm. The harp. Wow, the harp has the biggest range by far. Celeste. Oh, here's the Celeste. Okay. Let's try the percussion. Oh. Timpani.
goes up to D. Oh. So this. Low C. Now, untuned percussion. It's this. Oh, okay. The snares, the cymbals, and stuff. Clappers, tune percussion, bells. Marimba, wow. Telephone. Oh, it's a high register. Glockenspiel. Even higher range. Okay, we don't have that range. Oh, we even have a higher octave. We even have a higher octave. Yeah. Okay, we don't want any copyright. Uh, wow, I, I really like how this is all laid out. Um, let's go to the woodwinds. Tagatissimo. Tagatissimo. Flutes. Stacatissimo. Okay. Obos. Stacatissimo. Clarinets. Mm -hmm. Bassoons. This is a lot of fun. Okay. Staccatissimo.
Well, so that's about it. The BBC Symphony Orchestra. Uh, let's check out what it says here. Yeah, pretty much the same. Yeah, I don't think there's an option to like automate. So that's about it for this first impressions of the Spitfire Audio BBC Symphony Orchestra. And I will now use it to score a track. Good thing that it came just in time for me to score a string section for a song. It's really a win-win. Uh, that's it for today. Uh, this is Japs. Thanks so much. See you again in the next First Impressions video and unboxing. If you want to check out my other videos, there's more unboxings and stuff. So see you again next time. Peace. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe for the YouTube algorithm. And stay tuned for more music, demos, reviews, unboxings, and all sorts of things. Music and maybe not music. Also check out my single, Imagination, which is out now and it's also here in my channel. This jab signing off for now. Peace.